the LG V20 user here and today I'm doing a video on the Nokia 3.1 Plus for Google Wireless so the Nokia 3.1 Plus is now available at Cricut Wireless for $159.99 if you join Cricut or upgrade so $159.99 regardless so um, that, that's what the plan looks like it looks very nice um that's fine the you guys have a fine facing camera it pays your iconic Nokia logo there on the top right and it looks like it has stock Android and it looks like it has Android Pie on board. Okay? So this is pretty dope. Um, so on the right side you have the volume button and power button on the right side of the phone. There it is. Right side, power button, volume button. On the back on the Nokia 3.1 Plus you have dual cameras on the back. Camera flash, fingerprint sensor, Nokia logo, credit logo, and your speaker. Um, so it's available in this navy blue color. Uh, I'm not a fan of the navy of the navy blue color. That's just me. Um, if it was available in like black or something, then I'd be all over it. But some of you guys might not have a problem with that. But I personally don't like blue phones. But that's just me. Uh, but I do think this phone looks very nice in my opinion. So let's go check it out. So it says a good big with the new kit 3.1 plus. It's large 5.99 inch HD display. Provides impressive contrast and clarity for all your entertainment needs, while also elegantly crafted with a slim body, making it easy to view and hold. Get big performance with octa-core processing power, Cricket's 4 GLT network, and Android 9 Pi. Yes, you heard that right. Android 9 Pi is on board. Uh, I believe this is the first brand on prepaid to have Android Pi come out of the box. So I think this is the first one on prepaid to have Pi out of the box. So that's pretty dope. Uh, capture the big moments crisply and clearly with the dual lens rear camera which delivers better pictures in low light and first class depth effects. There is also plenty of space for all your apps, pics, and videos with up to 32 gigabytes of user storage and the fingerprint sensor provides additional convenience and security. The Nokia 3.1 Plus is also bigger on battery with up to two days battery life so no need to constant charging live life bigger with the Nokia 3.1 Plus alright so the specs on this phone are pretty damn good uh, this this is a budget phone so do keep that in mind um, the Nokia 3.1 Plus has a 5.99 inch display HD Plus 18 by 9 strength optical processor LTE of course has dual cameras on back 13 and 5 megapixels with flash and 8 megapixel front facing camera you have 32 gigabytes of, of, of storage with expandable micro SD card up to 256 gigs two days of battery life and Qualcomm quick charge 3.0 oh. so that is good has HD voice mobile hotspot and Android 9.8 Pi So that is it went all around. Large display and standout cameras. Maximize for your entertainment. Maximize for your enjoyment. The large 5.9 on this display offers remarkable contrast and clarity. The slim polycarbonate body fits easily in your hands. Perfect for, for watching widescreen video or scrolling through your social media feed. Use the 13 megapixel, 5 megapixel dual lens rear cameras for to take professional quality photos with ease even get that studio style shot by selecting live bokeh mode and adjusting the background blur in real time easy to use features which is always good the new kit 3.1 plus has a user friendly fingerprint sensor to keep your phone secure and allows easy access and notifications so i guess you can use the fingerprint sensor to pull down the, the notification set which is pretty good considering it has a 5.9 inch display also with google pay you can quickly and easily use your phone to make in-store purchases or even use a gift card from your favorite store with no need to pull out your wallet so as Google Pay on board, so it has NFC, so that's good. Um, so that's a win. Better life and more. No need to worry about con 
constantly charging your phone. The new Kia 3.1 Plus offers up to two days of battery life with its powerful 3,500 mAh battery. Plus, with adaptive battery, your phone learns how you use it so the apps and services is, so the apps and services you don't use as often are not a drain on your battery. That's your Android Pie feature right there. <coughs> And with fast octa-core processing, 4 GLT speeds, and up to 32 gigabytes of user storage, the 3.1 Plus has everything you need and more. This fucking phone, like the specs and stuff on this phone, are pretty good for what it is. This is a budget phone. The specs on here are pretty damn good. So the um, new kid 3.1 Plus has Android Pie 9.0. <coughs> The dimensions of the Nokia 3.1 Plus is 6.37 inches height, 3.3 inches width, and 0.33 inches depth. The screen display is 5.99 inches HD plus 18 by 9. 32 gigabytes of storage, micro SD card slot up to 256 gigs. So that's really good. I think it has 2 gigabytes of RAM. I think it does 2 gigabytes of RAM, so not too bad. Um, it has 4G LTE, of course. It has Wi Fi, Bluetooth 4.2, Type C, Mobile Hotspot, Wi Fi Manager. It has dual cameras on back, 13 and 5 megapixels with flash, 8 megapixels with front facing camera, Google Maps, HD Voice, of course. It has a octa core, Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, 3500 mAh battery, internet compatibility, rate plan requirements, so you have to have a qualifying uh, monthly plan for that. And they have accessories, y'all got some get uh, cases and stuff like that here. Chargers, air pages, and all that good stuff. If you guys want to get excited for the Note Kit 3.1 Plus, go to Amazon and type in Note Kit 3.1 Plus, and you guys will get accessories there. So, yeah, there it is, guys. The Note Kit 3.1 Plus now available at Cricket Wireless for $159.99. Uh, in my opinion, I think it's worth picking up because it has Android Pie, fingerprint sensor, it has a big screen. The brand looks nice. It has a um, it's from an iconic brand. Uh, Nokia is a very iconic. Yeah. Their brands are just awesome in my opinion. I love the Nokia fans. I really do. Um, if I could get this phone on lock and use it on Verizon, I would get this phone and use it on Verizon. So that's just me. If I had the money, I would get this phone. I would get the unlock version of this phone and use it on Verizon if I could. This phone looks nice. It has great specs for what it is. A budget phone. And hey, it's worth the price in my opinion. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. If you have smile a lot, please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.